Voting access is the only controllable variable that is in the hands of the GOP. They do not have control over what the farmer guy will do or won't do. They do not have any idea how many corporations will donate or not donate to them because of what happened in January. They don't have any idea how many winnable Republican candidates will lose to extreme candidates in the primary. They have no idea how their roster is going to look like in 22. But they know one thing, they are still in power in so many states and they can pass bills and they can do it all on their own. But man, 253 bills to play around with voting access in 43 states. What do you see coming in that Senate campaign for Senator Warnock? Look, it's going to be a tough fight. And that's why you're seeing the voter suppression, not just here, but also in Arizona. Arizona and Georgia both went for Biden and elected Democratic senators. And both states have Senate elections in 2022 that are going to be critical for holding the majority for Democrats. And so here's part of what I wanted to come on the show tonight to say, Lawrence, is Democrats, we got to get in formation. Republicans are in a tailspin because of Donald Trump. However, they are in formation on voter suppression. And this is very, very dangerous. Over the next decade, in the census that just happened, multiple states, Georgia, Arizona, whites go into the minority of the population. The demographic change of this country, where whites are on track to go into the minority of population by 2045, not that far off, is accelerating in the Sun Belt. And so we have the set of dynamics going into redistricting and a census undercount and these Senate races where if we don't push back hard on voter suppression, and that means federal action this year on preclearance, on getting states like Georgia that have a racist history and not just a history, a racist now need to have to pre-clear their voting changes with the Department of Justice. We need automatic voter registration universally and all the changes of the For the People Act. Democrats in Congress need to get information, give Biden the cabinet that he needs so we can get moving. This is an existential threat to the future of our democracy, which was just attacked at the Capitol last month. So we feel incredible urgency here because the voter suppression is just a whole new level of egregious. And without federal action, we are fighting this every single way we can on the ground and with our allies around the country. But it's time to act. And it's time for Democrats nationally to understand how pressing this crisis is with 253 bills. And it's just starting. We're going to see even more over the next month. Stacey Abrams, former campaign manager, is correct. Don't be shocked at the number of bills introduced by the GOP to play with voting access around the country. Please don't be shocked because what you're seeing is the tip of the iceberg. There is a lot more to come. So let me tell you this. The guardians of the 18th century bring it on. Make it 2,530 by the end of this year and take it all the way to 25,300 if you can. The country is watching. The 81 million people who said no to your party on November 3rd are watching. If in case they didn't, then Biden or Stacey or Beto or Harris will wake them up from their sleep and tell them the bill count. So don't be fooled into thinking that the media horde that backed you will save you because it couldn't in 2018, it couldn't in 2020. Heck, it couldn't do it in freaking 24 years. Since 1996, not even once the GOP conference in the Senate represented the majority of the population in the country. Do you see the stable GOP? From representing 50% of the population in 96, you guys are now down to 43%. So someone is walking you down the rabbit hole since 96. You cannot win the popular vote in a presidential election. And now, even the Senate is slowly running away from you. Is it because Fox News was started off in 96? Or is it because of Newt Gingrich? I cannot be the one of them. Fox is one of the most selfless, country-first organizations in the world. And the other one is the most selfless, party-first politician in the world. 96 was the last time Republican senators won more votes than Democratic senators. 2004 was the last time a Republican presidential candidate won more votes than a Democratic presidential candidate. Since then, you guys are just rolling down the hill. Landing will take some more time, but I think it's all just coincidence. Just a long period of intense bad luck. The GOP is like a bad parent. They really don't get it, do they? Let me tell you guys the mistake you are making. The more you tell the kids you cannot have it is when they will want to have more of it. 
Try telling them that you ate all their Halloween candy. You will be done for the day. But the GOP continues the failed experiment. They are not only bad parents, they just don't have a clue. So how did all the guardians of the 18th century laws work out for you in the last 24 years? Just 136 million voted for Obama Romney. It went up to 160 million when Biden and Trump were on the ballot. Mail-in ballots are a hoax. Yeah, right. Just 65 million people voted by mail. We will have patriotic poll watches on the election day. More than 100 million cast their ballots before the election day. Just one ballot box per county for mail-in ballots. All right. We will break all the records on day one of early voting. So if you really want less people to vote, let me tell you a secret. Make it easy to vote. Send mail-in ballots to everyone or keep a ballot box in every street. Trust me, no one will bother to vote. It will be like leaving a suitcase full of cookies open in your kid's bedroom. He will eat as much as he can in one night and will never touch the cookie jar ever again in his life. You guys will lose one election and never lose again. It will be the best way to make the GOP smart again. The GOP is like the worst student in the math class. No matter how many classes you take them to, they will never understand the result of addition. They only know how to divide and how to subtract. But addition? Never mind. The Democrats have already locked them out completely in 232 electoral votes. That's 19 states. All of them voted Democratic since 2008. If Hillary won them, you guys should know you will never win them. Even if you put Trump and Jacinda Ardern on the ballot, you are not going to win any of these states. Out of the rest, out of the 306 remaining questions, the Democrats only need to answer 38 of them correctly. They answered 68 questions correctly this time and won the White House. And they had a senile old man, according to you guys, and he was a radical socialist and he wanted to defend the police and he still got more marks than you. So if a broke ass old man can do it against a billionaire reality TV star in the Oval, then the math looks pretty black. So I get it why you would love to keep passing as many bills, but don't give in to the temptation. If it didn't work for 24 years, it is not going to work in the next two. If more than 160 million people vote in 24, don't say that you didn't see it coming. The more you take the chocolates away, the more the kids are going to ask for it. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please subscribe.